Another day with no movement on Don Wells' part, at least not one that has been made public. The social media grumblings are starting up again about the TBI being on the verge of something. Could it be that Don Wells has finally brokered an immunity deal and has provided information to the TBI? Let's break down the facts. My opening question was based entirely upon wishful thinking, since if Don Wells did tell the TBI where he buried Summer, they wouldn't be sitting on this information. Summer's remains would have been recovered, and a story would have broken about Candace, and possibly Grandis as well, being placed under arrest. Does Don Wells have an attorney? Sheriff Lawson seems to think so. But unless this lawyer got their degree from the inside of a Cracker Jack box, he or she would have advised Don to do whatever it took to strike a deal with the authorities to avoid a felony prosecution. As I've said before, if Summer Wells died as a result of an accidental fall at the Bly Stye, Don faces felony child endangerment charges along with Candace. A viewer correctly pointed out that Don Wells is a narcissist, and narcissists only look out for themselves. Don Wells is worried about Don. He's an old man now, and his main worry is what's going to happen to him if Candace is sent to jail. Maybe he's worried that there won't be a share or a prayer garden or a sweet tea or any one of these other online groupies waiting in the wings to take care of him. So Don Wells isn't going to do the right thing here. Not if it means having to grow old alone. So while Candace Bly continues to take to social media to beg for money, asking her sick bunch of groupies, led by her putrid Pied Piper, Benny Keys, to buy her things from her Amazon wish list, Don Wells refuses to wake up and smell the coffee. I hate to break it to you, Donnie, but as soon as your old lady gets a better offer, even any offer from any other dude, she's going to make a permanent break for it from Ben Hill and leave your old ass in the dust. That is, until she's finally arrested and taken into custody. It's none other than Don Wells who holds the key here, the key that unlocks the mystery of what happened to Summer Wells. Does Don have a lawyer now? Has that lawyer done anything in furtherance of an immunity deal for their client? Or is an obstinate narcissist who thinks that he has all of the answers holding on to the notion that it's better to be in bad company than be alone? Candace Bly has done no less than play Don Wells for a fool ever since he went back to jail. This foul creature thrives on whatever kind of attention she can get, even if it's negative, from whoever is willing to give it to her, even if they are the scum of the earth. She throws herself shamelessly at this repugnant Keys character, another societal barnacle whose standards are just a hair higher than Corny Candace, with a full set of natural teeth being a prerequisite. Sorry, Candace, but you're punching above your weight there. Best you set your sights even lower when trolling for Don's replacement. Don Wells obviously doesn't see himself as having hit rock bottom yet. And only when this happens will he finally give up, and more importantly, give up the location of Summer's remains. Even though we haven't heard much more from any psychics, people are still asking the question, where is Summer Wells? It doesn't take a psychic to answer that question. Summer Wells is wherever her father buried her. Don Wells holds the key here. He always has. Now I'd like to hear from you. Are you surprised that Don Wells hasn't agreed yet to disclose the location of Summer Wells' remains? Or do you feel that he's more concerned about being left alone with no one to look after him once Candace goes to jail? Thank you for watching and for clicking on the like and subscribe buttons. See you on the next video where we'll continue to break down the facts.